The South Sudan's government says fighting in Khartoum is disrupting air transport in South Sudan. A large part of South Sudan's airspace is still controlled from Khartoum. CGTN's Patrick Ayet reports from Juba. South Sudan's government says some international flights have been halted following fighting between rival military factions in Sudan. The flights affected include those of Turkish Airlines, Egypt Air and Fly Dubai. South Sudan attained independence from Sudan in 2011, but the two countries still share many resources. South Sudan uh, air, the upper airspace, uh, that is 250, the, the upper airspace, our uh, airspace uh, was still being managed by Sudan because the radar, uh, we, are, we are working on ATM, the air, tra air traffic uh, control, we are being helped by our brothers from uh, China. Uh, they have done some excellent work. One of the contractors has almost uh, finished. So the lower airspace, 245, is approachable. So flight coming, there are two routes. The route approaching from Upper Nile, meaning from uh, Malakal, that is, you are coming from Sudan. Their route is affected. There is also a route coming from Eritrea, as you crossed Western uh, Ethiopia, is also, that route is also affected. South Sudan's government says it is working closely with those affected airlines to reroute flights. It says that will lead to an increase in ticketing fares. South Sudan's government says regional airlines such as Ugandan Airlines, Kenya Airways and Rwanda Air are still easily accessing Juba International Airport. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.